Hello everybody, it's Friday, time for Facebook Friday. Hopefully I'm in the right group, let's see. Yep, there I am, hello. Today we're gonna be playing with uh, Playful Ghosts. Uh, this is an online exclusive Halloween set. You won't find it in any catalog, you can only find it online. Um, it's a really cute one. Uh, you know, you guys know I love these like black line images that we can color with our blends. And uh, just a really cute, simple set. So we're gonna make three Halloween treats, of course. You guys know, Halloween treats are my favorite thing to make, for sure. All right, um, let's see. I am just gonna keep it short and simple today. Um, Club Create. Here is Club Create's kit for October. September's Club Create kit subscribers. Your kits shipped this morning. They went out this morning. Um, weirdly enough, my old address printed as the return address on all of them, and I didn't notice until they were all outside already waiting, so hopefully none of them need to get returned. <laughs> um, I do know the people that live in my old house, so we're probably okay, but man, I wasn't going to redo all of them. So hopefully they all get to where they need to go. I even called, I use a, a website called Pirate Ship, and I even called them and they couldn't figure out why it had reverted back to my old address. So frustrating. But anyhow, Club Create for October will be featuring Snow Wonder, Snowy Wonder, cute dies. You'll get five projects. Um, October's kit will have four cards and a gift card holder. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, they come in a little plasticky craft keeper, if you will. You'll get about 20 $25 in product. Um, you will have lots of product left over, uh, paper, embellishments, that kind of thing, so you can make even more things. Um, if you would like to subscribe to Club Create, uh, the link is at the top of my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, Club Create, and it's there. And you can also find all the past Club Create kits there if you're looking for the PDF option. The PDF option is always available. It has the video. Um, I make a full video for Club Create each month. So it has written instructions and measurements as well as the video. It's usually about 30, 40 minutes long. Um, so anyway, you can find those over there. All right, so that's Club Create. Let's put that there. You know what, I'm gonna turn you guys around. The light is hurting my eyes today. I don't know why. All right, let's see if I got this in the right place. It feels a little bit high today. Okay, come on. Hold, please. Hold, please. Let's see how that looks. I feel like we need to bring it down. It's either too high or too low. I can never quite get it right. All right, let's see what that looks like. Crooked. You guys know I can't stand it if it's crooked. Okay, yeah, definitely crooked. Let's fix that. Um, so let's talk about this right here while we wait for that to get fixed. Okay, that looks about right. Um, my potions and spells Halloween class is done. Kits are cut and all they, all they have to do is go in the envelopes, which is gonna happen on Monday. So if you haven't registered for the potions and spells club, not club, this is a standalone class, not part of club. If you haven't registered for this class kit yet, there's about five or six kits left and they will ship on Tuesday. Um, I did have to order one thing, um, but they'll be ready to ship on Tuesday. Actually, I haven't put that order in yet. Overnight shipping, thank goodness for overnight shipping when I have these things I forget last minute. Um, but if you would like to register for this class kit, um, there is a link on today's PDF and at the bottom of today's blog post. It's also in the email that I sent out this week. Um, it'll take you right there. It does not include the bundle, but you can add the bundle if you'd like. Um, if you add the bundle, the kit may ship a little bit later than Tuesday. But this is what it looks like. Six treats all using the potions and spells um, bundle and our new Halloween paper, which I can never remember the name of it. And we're using it today, so I better look. Halloween, well, hello, Halloween spells. That should be easy to remember. I keep thinking it's like Halloween memory or something, but it's not. Halloween spells. Thanks, Carla, for checking. Um, you get a full pack of 12 by 12 paper. I am shipping them in large envelopes. 12 by 12 paper, the sticker sheet. You'll get ribbon and dots and a little Halloween yummy from me as well in your kit. So 
Last time I will tell you about the kits, okay? This is it, this is the last time. I know, some of you are like, okay, we've heard it. We've heard it four times now, we're, we're done hearing it. <laughs> um, paper pumpkin arrived yesterday. Did you guys get your paper pumpkins yet? I'm usually um, the last one to get paper pumpkin. Yeah, Judy, the stamp set, is it, I think it's the dies actually that are on low inventory. Um, but I think because they're on low inventory, that means they're getting more. If they're not getting any more in, usually it says nothing. So I saw that yesterday and I was like, okay, hopefully that means they're going to get more in. Fingers crossed. Uh, Paper Pumpkin this month is gorgeous. Um, I kept seeing people post on I don't know, Facebook or Instagram or whatever this card. And then I was like, what company is that? That's beautiful. And then I kept realizing it was it was stamping up people posting it. And it's this card base right here. This is absolutely gorgeous. I never would have used, I'm guessing that's either Blueberry Bushel or Night of Navy. I would have never used that with my fall colors, but look how stunning that is. So the Paper Pumpkin subscription is over, but you guys know I always, I order a couple of extra every time. It's happened to me too, where my credit card didn't go through, you know, like you canceled your card or, or someone, um, you know, made some charges on your card. So your credit card company is like, we're closing your account. You'll get another card in 10 days and then you have to change everything. Don't you hate when that happens? That has happened to me. So it, sometimes that happens and people will email me and say, I didn't get my paper pumpkin. Do you have any extras? So I always order extras. Um, this month it's called Autumn Abundance and uh, it's how many? Nine cards? Yeah, nine beautiful cards. Um, the stamps say, with thanks, sending autumn wishes your way. What does this one say? God, my eyes are not working. Um, thinking of you. So anyway, if you... Oh, look, one's a little square card. I love square cards. Um, we don't have square envelopes. I think we used to, didn't we? So I never make square cards, but I do like a square card. Um, so anyway, if you want, if you need a paper pumpkin kit and you want this one, email me. Look at those, they're beautifully watercolored. Oh, wow, wow. Love, 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 love all of this. But you guys know, fall is my favorite season of the year even though we don't get it down here in South Texas I still do love it okay so anyway thanks Les I appreciate it um I know right Stacy I kept thinking what is that and it's paper pumpkin it's beautiful that's a that's a fun stamp of, of uh, paper pumpkin you really never know what you're gonna get and that is gorgeous. It is different than the sneak peek, what I thought it was going to be. Um, they, they, uh, I don't know, they kept it quite the surprise. I'm looking back at comments. Okay. Um, let's look at prizes. I picked a random winner from last week. Jennifer Clennon, you are the winner of the Reindeer Fun Bundle. Jennifer, thank you for sharing the video. Um, I, I have your, your mailing address, Jennifer, unless you've moved. So, um, I will hold it till Monday or Tuesday, and then if I don't hear from you, I will put it in the mail for you. Next week, actually not next week. Next week I'll be gone. There'll be no Facebook Friday next week. Um, my husband and I are going on a little trip for my birthday. So the following week, I will pick a winner who's going to get the two new uh, memory keeping stamp sets, Halloween Memories and Autumn to Remember. This is the one we used last week. Um, so if you are interested in that. You can share the video either on Facebook or YouTube, and I will pick a random winner in two weeks. Um, did I print off this? No, here it is. Uh, so if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I'm glad you're here. This week, we are using the Playful Ghost. You can hop over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and uh, there's a free PDF for you. Hopefully, it's there. Um, oh, Jennifer, there you are. Okay, good. I will get it in the mail to you. Thanks so much for sharing. Um, I lost my train of thought. Um, free PDF is what I was going to tell you. Free PDF for today's project that has the measurements and supplies. Um, has the things that I talked about. Um, paper shares is still on here. Um, I don't know. 
honestly I haven't even looked at my paper shares. I've ordered for everybody who is registered and I'm not going to get to those until the following week. They'll go out the following week. But if you haven't registered for paper shares, I guess I still could order some more. Um, so there's information on that. Um, host code. If you like today's projects and you would like to get them as a free kit, by the way, thank you to everyone who shopped with me on free shipping day, which is Wednesday. Um, if your order was over $35, you will get today's kit already. You qualified for that. Um, but if you didn't and you would like today's kit, if you want some easy uh, Halloween treats, um, just um, you'll get them for free with an order of $35 or more placed between now and Monday at midnight. Now, here's the deal. I'm leaving early Wednesday morning. I think I can get them all out on Tuesday. I'm going to work on Monday, try to get them out Tuesday. But if not, Facebook Friday kits from this week may ship late, like the following week, just because I'm traveling. So I know some of you order every week and you, you know like clockwork when it's coming. So just heads up, they might take longer. But I'm going to try to get them out before I leave, okay? Anyway, this is what they look like. Um, you will need the Playful Go stamp set. You'll need ink, an adhesive. I'm trying to think. Um, I will send you all the paper, all the die cuts, all the ribbon. Uh, you'll need white embossing powder and the candy. I don't send the candy because it would be a chocolate puddle in the bottom <laughs> of your bag. I got something from a friend today that had candy in it, and it wasn't even candy that um, looked like it would melt. But I could see on the outside of the box, there was like a big grease stain on the box. And <laughs> I opened it, all the candy was melted. So I can't mail candy. I can mail candy like November through February and that's it. Um, so sorry, no, no candy in your kits, but you can just go get some at the grocery store and eat some of it yourself and then put it in your packaging also. Um, I did want to mention also we have, um, the, um, all-star tutorial bundle this month features the unbounded beauty, um, suite. So if you spend over $50 with me this month, you'll get it for free. I haven't sent it out this week. Um, when did I send it out? It's probably been a week and a half since I've sent it out. So I will send that before the day is over to everybody who has ordered. Um, it's also available in my PDF store for $15. It's a video tutorial, uh, 12 different video tutorials by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And it is free if you shop with me. But if you don't shop with me and you still want it, you can get it in my PDF store. Okay, that is that. And I think we're ready to get started. How many of you have the Playful Ghost stamp set? It came out in the summer and uh, it's very cute. It's very cute. I especially like it with the new Halloween paper that we have. And I've showed you the Halloween paper, I guess last week or the week before. Um, the paper's really good. It has good, simple patterns. You know, I hate when I'm trying to use a little piece of pattern paper and the pattern is too big. I like stripes, polka dots, zigzags, you know, simple patterns. And this pack of paper definitely has that. All right, we're going to make this and I'm going to show you the treats that I have in each box. Now, um, let me look at your comments and make sure. Um, Laura, I up, I'm not live on YouTube. I upload it afterwards. Um, I'm too chicken to go live on YouTube, you guys. <laughs> I feel like it's just us cozy little friend group here in my Facebook group. And something about going live on YouTube scares me. I know I'm like the last person in the whole world not to do it. And I need to get over that. But I save it and upload it to YouTube when I'm done. Okay, inside this treat box is a trick or treat Oreo. Did you guys even know that they made individual Oreos? Maybe, maybe I knew that. Maybe I forgot. I don't know. But uh, trick or treat Oreo fits in here. Now I do have to say this box is inspired from my friend Angie Judah, who just hit her $3 million in sales yesterday. Um, she is, I have loved her work from day one when I was an itty bitty baby Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And then we happened to be friends. We got to be friends. So, um, I still go and get inspiration from her because her stuff is amazing. So Angie, thank you. We're going to make this box um, and it, it will hold other things. I just found that it fit the Oreo uh, perfectly. All right. Um, and I did link the treats on Amazon so you can see them. But you guys, most of these are in the grocery store. I don't know about the Oreos. I did order those from Amazon. 
But the other two things, of course, were either from Walmart or Target. So you could find those easily in your store, probably. Um, okay, let's start. And you know what? <laughs> I made individual recordings of these projects, you guys. And it was like torture. I was messing up, messing up, messing up. The camera died. The um, battery got too hot. It was like comedy of errors. This new camera that's supposed to be making things easier is making things so difficult. But for this project, I just kept scoring it wrong. So I'm going to focus really hard. <laughs> and hopefully I do not score it the wrong way. Okay, Highland Heather. Um, you can also use Gorgeous Grape. But kind of like the lighter purple. I don't know. You could use pumpkin pie too if you want. 10 by 5 and 3 fourths. We're first going to score it at half an inch. And I'm using my Simply Scored. You can use your Stampin' Trimmer too if you have that. And then 3 and 3 fourths. And then 5 and a fourth. And then 8. Right? That doesn't feel right. Hold on. Let's make sure. This is, God, I'm so scared because I screwed this box up so bad the first three or four times. That is wrong measurement. It should be, let's see. Y'all have to forgive me and I'll tell you why in a second. Three and a, this is three and a fourth. This is one, two, three and a fourth. It should be eight and a half. This, oh, I know why. My paper is cut wrong. It's supposed to be 10 inches and it's 11 inches. What does the PDF say? Does it say eight? Okay, change that to eight and a half because that is wrong, I think. Good grief. Hold on, let me trim it. Hold please. You guys, we put Charlie down yesterday and I'm a mess, so please forgive me. <laughs> My brain is seriously like, Frozen. I'm having the hardest time. Okay, short side, ready? One and a half, four and a fourth, and five and a fourth. Okay, now let's double check. You know, this is this is what you gotta do. You gotta make sure you have equal sides. The bigger side should be three and a fourth, which it is. The smaller is one and a fourth. So I've done it wrong again. No, that's right. One and a half, one and a half. Why is this not measuring? Yeah, it's one and a half. Okay, this is right. Ready? Let's go over the measurements <laughs> again. Everything is right except add half an inch on the eight. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, and now I'm having a hot flash. Oh, my gosh. Okay, get your bone folder. You need your bone folder, you guys. When you score everything, you see this half inch. Um, when we scored on the short side... Let's see, was this, this was on, when we scored on the short side, we scored at one and a half, four and a fourth, five and a fourth. This is the five and a fourth lip over here. You actually want to fold that backwards, okay, like that. All right, and then let's do the ones on the side. I usually have a ponytail holder here and I do not have one. So now I'm like sweating. Okay, on the long side, you've got this half inch over here as well. You're gonna cut off the bottom. I'm really nervous. I'm feeling scared that my measurements are wrong, but they're not, they're right. Let's just look. Yes, they're right. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, and then also, like that. By the way, there's an individual recording over on YouTube <laughs> where it's all Correct. And look, I just looked up here and I have my cheat sheet right here. There it is. And I wasn't even looking. So it's three and three fourths, five and a fourth, eight and a half, and ten. Well, ten is the length. You don't score it at ten. All right. So there's that side. Now along the bottom, you're just going to snip these score lines. You guys, I also have a snake update for you. I know you're just waiting with bated breath. You can't wait to hear my snake update. It was about this time last year when we had a copperhead right outside my office door curled up waiting for me. I think it was maybe mid-October. It was about this time. All right, see that, how we cut those and then we cut the corners off? Okay, this, is, this next part's important, so I'm not gonna talk while I do this. 
Um, again, here's that lip we folded this way. We're gonna cut off this little skinny rectangle here and this skinny rectangle here. But when we do that, we're gonna go all the way into the second score line and then cut it off, okay? And so then this one, you kind of have to go in between the larger sections like that. And then trip. Okay, now there is your piece. That is what it should look like. I am looking for my hair clip because I'm about to die. It's about a thousand degrees suddenly in my office, these lights. All right, now, adhesive. I'm gonna use tear and tape right here. You can use liquid glue. Probably I should be using liquid glue because it's very humid here. Very humid. We're like still in summer, you guys, like high of 100. So liquid glue is best if you live in a, a muggy, humid climate. All right, put that there, put that there, fold it over. All right, now on the bottom, fold these in. I know I'm still gonna tell you about the snake. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't forgotten. Fold the sides in, fold the back, and then you're gonna fold the front. So luckily, the copperhead visited my neighbor two houses down and bit him, and now he's in the hospital. So when my husband makes fun of me for being paranoid, now I have a real reason, right? I mean, I think he's gonna be okay. I, this is secondhand information. Why, why do guys not ask for details, right? My husband talked to the neighbor and he asked no information. I wanted to know where, where, when, why, how. He's like, I have no idea. So anyway, that's the, that's the snake update around here. Awful, awful, awful. All right, so pivot. <laughs> from that to this, fold these in, and then these go together like this. Um, see how it pinches, looks kind of like a milk carton. Um, I, knock on wood, haven't seen a snake in a while. We did see a little like garden snake, but that doesn't really count. Like a little, you know, like a little one. Everybody's got those. The copperhead, that's like a whole nother dimension of no, thank you. All right, notice how I uh, use my pencil to draw those dots. Just because if I don't, inevitably my holes are gonna be wonky and crooked and even if you think they're gonna be straight, I promise, you're, they're not gonna be. So draw that line, I mean draw that dot. This ribbon um, is the silver and white Silver trim sheer ribbon. So silver, I can't ever remember the name. It says sheer, silver and white sheer ribbon. It has the little silver trim on it. It's very pretty and it's very light. So it's not gonna bulk up your project, okay? Thanks, you guys are so sweet. I appreciate it. It's been a tough couple of days around here for sure. I can't even talk about it. I uh, went to Chick-fil-A today and ate my feelings. <laughs> Can anybody relate? Chick-fil-A has a um, frosted lemonade. If you like lemonade, they have a frosted lemonade. Basically, they take their soft serve and they mix it with their lemonade. And you can get their diet lemonade so then you feel better about yourself and just pretend like there's not ice cream also in it, which is what I did. And it was delicious and I don't regret one single sip. I do not. Because sometimes you just need a frosted lemonade in your life, right? Lisa, I can't even talk about it. I can't even, I can't. She's, she's um, confused. She's confused for sure. All right, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in just a tiny bit without screwing anything up. Um, I think that's part of why we're so upset too because Pepper's like, where is he? Okay. Y'all are gonna make me cry today. <laughs> oh, now I need my glasses. Where did I put them? They were on my head. Oh, here they are. Um, we don't have a gorgeous grape Stampin' Blend, and I don't know why, but I think it's because Highland Heather is very close 
So I'm just going to use Highland Heather. And I'm going to go around, although my paper's Highland Heather, so it does match, but my original plan was Gorgeous Grape. I think I must have colored this first and then picked the paper. I do love Gorgeous Grape. Why don't we have a Stampin' Blend? Maybe because it would be too dark. Because some of our colors are very, very dark when they're in uh, Stampin' Blend, like Night of Navy, Black. Black is very dark. Um, now, you guys, use your bullet point right here and, and in these really skinny areas. You just want to like tap, 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 tap that color in. Okay, and then take your dark and we're going to color that inside part right there and we need some shadow basically in the back. And then I'm going to take this dark and kind of do like, I think I'm, let's, let's do this. Let's take the brush tip and kind of curve it like that because it's a shadow. And then there would be like a shadow right here too. Okay, and then I'm going to take my light and just blend all that over. Okay, isn't it cute? A ghost dressed up as a vampire? I don't know, Coastal Cabana too. That's a good question, Michelle. I don't know. I don't know what their reasoning is. I thought for a while it was just because they were just trying to like cover their bases. You know, let's get the basic colors out. But it's been years now. I don't know. What do we have? Coastal Cabana. Is there anything? Bermuda Bay used to be close. Man, I'm going to put that in the suggestion box. I hadn't even thought about Coastal Cabana. But you're right. We do need it. All right. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow. This is a uh, smoky slate. Now, so that he won't be too scary, let's give him rosy cheeks. <laughs> okay? And there he is. Look how cute he is. So cute. Um, you guys, the quality looks a little bit better today. You know, the last two weeks, it's been real, um, like, pixely. And I called my internet provider. Ugh. Let me just say. I mean, when I have to make a phone call to a business like that, I just would rather like stab myself in the eye with a spoon. It's awful. And it was like two hours of them like telling me nothing. But they're sending us a new modem, so we'll see. But it looks pretty good today. I don't know why. Um, Summer Splash, yes, Nydia, you're right. Summer Splash is very close. I don't use that color very often. I really should. Maybe in the summer I'll use it more. Or, you know, like in the spring towards the summer. All right, cut your little dude out. I did it ahead of time. Cut him out with your paper snips. Grab your dimensionals. Here's the piece of Stripe Designer Series paper. By the way, we saw the new, um, this reminded me of Beetlejuice. You guys remember Beetlejuice? We went and saw it. It was actually pretty good. I told you last week I hated the old Beetlejuice. We watched it with the girls recently. I was like, this is the dumbest movie I've ever seen. I can't believe we watched it so many times when we were a kid. But the new one is pretty good. I, wa I walked in with zero expectation thinking it was gonna be horrible, so maybe it's that. Um, you guys, these cute little stitched basic gray clouds are um, from, what's the die set? Let me look at my list. Bright Skies Dies. Now, I have to go back and put a little asterisk on that. It was gross, okay? So, I mean, like I, I don't know if my mom is on here. My mother would have hated it. It was gross. And I did have to like cover my eyes at some point. Just kind of, it's this, um, oh, what's the guy's name? Um, you know, he makes all the weird movies. Can't remember his name now. Somebody's gonna say it. It was very typical him. It was like, but Jen Ortega was good. And uh, of course, what's the lady that plays the stepmom? She's hilarious. I don't know. I thought it was good. My girls loved it, which I was surprised. Um, I stamped this Happy Halloween and Pumpkin Pie on one of the long um, Hearts and Hugs banner. And then we're just going to layer all of this up with dimensionals. And 
put our little guy right there. Stamp your sentiment kind of over on the left side. So, and then he can be over on the right side. And then last but not least, let's just put a little, a few little stars in the sky. Some rhinestones like this. Let's put one just over here and then maybe one right there. Okay, and then all you gotta do is put it on your bucket. Now, if you guys don't wanna do Oreos, this box is, it's, I mean, it's not huge, but it's also not tiny. You could fit, I mean, the next, the next treat we make is the ghost Kit Kats, which would be cute in here too. Um, so, you know, whatever, whatever you wanna do, there you go. I think that's a pretty easy box. Hopefully <laughs> my measurement debacle, once again, won't mess you up. Hopefully. All right, so there is that. Let me clean up. I hope you guys like that. That's a cute, that's a cute project, I think. I think it's pretty cute, but I'm biased. All right, let me move that. Let's see, what else is on here? I'm using a lot of the same supplies, so I gotta make sure I don't put them away. All right, next up. Next up, we're using the new Kit Kat Ghost Toast. All right, have you guys seen these? Kit Kat's really good about coming out with different treats, different flavors. They keep reinventing themselves, so that's what these are, Ghost Toast. Um, it says, naturally, artificially flavored, crispy wafer, cinnamon toast flavored cream. I haven't tried them yet, but Kit Kat usually doesn't doesn't disappoint. Now I know we we've had the debate about the lemon Kit Kats. I know some of you are haters, Kit Kat lemon haters. That's all right. I forgive you because I like them. <laughs> Somebody said they taste like furniture polish, but I do not agree. All right, this is a very easy treat box, and. You can look through your dies and see, this is a kind of box you can make with any kind of die that's either like a tag. You could also do this with your, um, what's it, the country corner dies, and just cut off so that it has a flat bottom. So you can do this really with any of them that are similar to that. Um, we're gonna use this tag. This tag, I had to look it up, it's from the Merriest Trees die set. Okay, Marius Trees. So you're gonna need to get two of those that are basic black, which I've got right here. And uh, then you're gonna need a piece of basic black. Let's, I'm gonna tell you that in a second, but let me tell you what other dyes you need. Nested Essentials, this is the second largest. And then um, the small stylish shape banner in black. And I've already embossed it just because I was trying to get some of this done ahead of time because I felt like it was going to take a long time today. Um, okay, so you've got your two basic black tags, and we're going to make a little box, basically, that is just going to go between them like this. We're just going to sandwich a little box between them, okay? So let me get my assembly scored again. And this is uh, five by four and a fourth. On the long side, you're going to do two and three. And on the short side, you're gonna do one and three and a fourth. It's my cheat sheet. It's also on the PDF. And I'm sure it's correct on the PDF. Yes, it is correct. All right, bone folder again. Um, I wanted to do something with the Halloween Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers, but I didn't get over there to look at them. I did look online and I don't think they have any ghost themed ones this year. They do have some really cool skeleton looking ones. Um, this, uh, the reason I say that is this looks like um, it would hold a hand sanitizer probably and some candy. I like making hand sanitizer holders. All right, cut the score lines in the middle like that. Cut the corners off. I do have a giant box of Halloween candy and pumpkin spice things that I've bought this year. It's almost embarrassing how much I've bought keep thinking, ooh, look at that, we need to use that, we need to use that. It'll all go in my trick-or-treating basket. This year, I'm gonna sit and hand out candy. I usually just put out on the porch, but last year, this little boy came and rang our doorbell, and I was like, what's up? There's candy out sitting outside, and I opened it, and the, of course, the bucket was empty, and he said, 
but all the big kids took all the candy and I felt really bad. So now, <laughs> he was so cute. So now I'm like, you know what? This year I'm gonna sit on my porch. Do you guys hand out candy? Um, put your uh, glue on the outside of those tabs. I, I just will never forget. He was so like mad that the big kids had took all the candy. It was so cute. He was like mad at me. Like lady, if you put that out here, big kids just take it all and I know that I knew that but to see a sweet little face I was like oh all right candy on the inside and wrap it around we used to do that because we would take our kids trick-or-treating but now we just do it because we're lazy <laughs> I don't want to sit out there but I'm going to change that this year I'm sitting out there with the trick-or-treaters all right so now you've got your little box right and your box mostly you're not going to see it because it's going to be hidden behind um, the tags. You know, Rita, I will probably love it too. I'm just usually lazy. I'm usually tired. Usually it's like a school night. And we've been running around. But this year, I think, what is Halloween? Like on a Friday? It's actually the homecoming game for my kids this year. Homecoming is on Halloween. And my daughter has a tennis match that day, and I think the other one has a basketball game. It's like, come on, it's Halloween. All right, so see how that works? It doesn't go all the way up, it's kind of short. And then you just set these down in there like that, and you could probably fit three, although I just put two. All right, then get a piece of this paper, one and three fourths by eight, and I'm actually going to it's not a belly band. It looks like it's going to be a belly band, but it's not. Adhere it to the front and then just pinch it as you wrap it around. Hopefully, I kind of risked it not matching up by putting the adhesive on it, but look, I did pretty good. And there you go. And just make sure you pinch those corners like that. Okay. And then what ribbon are we using? Oh, well, of course, my favorite. Oh, Halloween is a Thursday. All right, well, homecoming, I guess that's why I thought it was a Friday. Homecoming game is on a Thursday. What, what the heck, why, why would they do that? They didn't ask me. Once again, nobody asked me for my opinion. I have opinions on these things. I guess they didn't care. All right. I just wasted a lot of ribbon, didn't I? I hate when I do that too. Ugh. All right, tie it together like that. And now let's make our cute ghost. I'm not gonna make you fussy cut this time. Only two fussy cuttings this week, instead of three. You're welcome. <laughs> and if you don't wanna fussy cut the other ones, you can just punch them out with a circle or an oval or whatever. This guy, he's so cute. The little pumpkin is really cute too. All right, light pumpkin pie. And you have to be careful going around with a little face because I put Daffodil Delight in there. And if you get pumpkin pie overlap, that Daffodil Delight is not going to cover it up. So be real careful. I like to start there because, you know, I get kind of tired of coloring and then I start going fast and then I screw up. So do the hard part first. And then you can do the easy part last. Definitely put your glasses on. My husband and I both laugh. We need our glasses constantly now, constantly. It happened to both of us at the same time. And we laugh at each other. That's all right. All right, so color that. Then take your dark. And I'm going to go around the outside edge of these lines and go down the middle and then go up the other inside part of these lines. And then I'm going to connect on the bottom because it'd be a little bit darker on the bottom. Color those in. There we go, isn't that cute? All right, now color this part. <laughs> I 
Why did y'all have a two hour delay, Lisa? Just scheduled like a, like for teacher in service or something? Or was it weather related? Our district never did the, those delays. We sit at the end of our driveway and give out candy. That sounds like fun. Some adult beverages. That sounds like a lot of fun. I really didn't think we'd have very many trick-or-treaters here last year because our neighborhood, for one, is spread out and very hilly, very hilly. And uh, there's a lot of older people in our neighborhood. Um, we don't see that many kids, but boy, let me tell you, I was wrong. Maybe, maybe people bring their grandkids over or people come from other neighborhoods. Give them those little rosy cheeks. All right, now you're going to stamp that sentiment in Versamark on your little black um, stylish shape banner. Heat emboss it with white. And then put it right, um, you know, this is a great place for your black dimensionals. I wish I had pulled mine out. Black dimensionals, there we go. And then you just put it right here with dimensionals. Now, when I was teaching, we did this thing in October where you would get booed you guys do that in a neighborhood? Some neighborhoods do that, where you give somebody a treat and you say, you've been booed. That's so fun. So these, these would make fun boo treats. We did not just one, but you would do one a week for the whole month of October at my school. So these would be fun. You have to spread it out. You have, you know, have to have kind of cheaper things if you're going to do more, more than one. So these would be good. All right, there you go, you guys. Easy peasy. And no fussy cutting, you're welcome. <laughs> I know how much you guys hate me when I fussy cut. I don't know, some of you are like me and you like to fussy cut. But a lot of you are like, oh, not fussy cutting. Okay, one more left. And I saved my favorite candy for last. Can you guys guess? Reese's Peanut Butter Pumpkins, of course. Have you seen the little picture going around the social media that says, I don't know who needs to hear this, but these have four grams of protein. Yes, four grams of protein. So, I mean, if you eat two, that's eight grams of protein. That will keep you from getting hungry for a while. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's healthy. For sure, it's healthy. I haven't made this holder in a long time, and uh, I used to put little chiclet gums in there. I got the idea a long time ago from another demonstrator, but this time I changed it. The little belly band slides off, and it's like a little envelope that your little candies can fit in, okay? And they, it fits these two perfectly. I will admit I have had a few, one or two, one or two. Okay, let's do our tag first with our little guy. And of course, we're gonna do some watercoloring. So get your watercolor supplies. I'm gonna use Gorgeous Great this time. And I got ink on my clear block like that, okay? And then I have a watercolor circle that's cut with a spotlight on nature dyes. And I'm just gonna get some water and, and I'm just gonna kind of put it down kind of messy you want it to kind of look like you know like a spooky night like fog or smoke or I don't know it's purple but whatever make it just kind of messy and then take your salt your kosher salt and put it on there it's gonna leave that little texture like that okay now I have one that's done so let's look at it. it still has the salt on it just brush the salt off when it's dry and there you go my favorite kind of watercoloring is to put salt on it I almost can't watercolor without putting salt on it I, I like it so much with that texture but I pretty much can't do it without it okay this guy we're gonna use the third little ghost and Stamp him in memento on white. And we're gonna use those same colors, Highland Heather, for his cape. Like this. And color it in. 
You guys, my middle daughter is a senior this year and she has started to get her college acceptance letters. She is super duper smart. She's like number 20 in her class. So, you know, it's, as her mother, I'm not surprised that she's getting accepted, um, but she is very excited. Um, hopefully she'll get some, some scholarship offers too. She's worked very hard to have very good grades. It's kind of crazy. I still think of her as young, but she's a senior. She'll be 18 in March. It happens fast. We're gonna to go to a college information session for Honors College on Sunday. She wants to, right now, she wants to go to Texas Tech. That's where my brother and sister-in-law went. And it's far from here. It's in Lubbock, which is West Texas. So it's about a five and a half, six hour drive. So I don't know. We're gonna drive out there next month to check it out. I don't know. If she, ooh, I just made a mess of that. I don't know if she's gonna wanna be that far from home. We'll see. She, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Um, she doesn't wanna to go to Baylor where my other daughter is. And my husband said, good, because he's not paying for Baylor again. Baylor is too much, which I am sad because that's where I went, but I get it. Prices just keep going up and up and up. All right, broom actually did it backwards. I meant to do the broom part in, or this bottom part in uh, pecan pie and the top part in smoky slate, whatever it works. All right, so there's our little ghost guy. Susan, you live in Lubbock? Okay, well, what do you think? You think she's gonna like Lubbock? I've only been there one time for my brother's wedding and I barely remember it. I just know it's a long drive through West Texas from here, like that way. But my sister-in-law and my brother loved it. So maybe she will, maybe she will. Okay, cut that out with your paper snips. And then you're also gonna get a basic black stylus shape square, right? And stamp the trick or treat in Versamark, heat emboss it with white, and there you go. Isn't that cute, a little sign like that? Um, you think she will, Susan? You know what I keep telling her? She loves, 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 loves cold weather. And you know down here, we don't get very much cold weather. And I told her in Lubbock you would get more cold weather for sure than, than here. So that got her excited. Um, put that guy kind of up to the left. And then this little sign will go below him. I don't know, here's my thing. I don't know if she can tolerate a dorm room situation. <laughs> you know, you guys know what I mean? I mean, that a dorm room situation is definitely a learning experience, but I'm not sure it is for her. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, I don't know. So there we go, there's our tag, pretty easy. She may surprise me and she knows, you know, she's very particular about things and, and she's very particular about her studies and quiet, she needs quiet, peace, and, peace and quiet. Um, temperature, everything has to be just right. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. She's also um, applied to the University of Texas in San Antonio, which is our local college and got into there too. They have, she's, guys, she's so smart. She wants to be an astrophysicist. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I, my father-in-law is a physicist. So she gets that from my husband's side of family, not from me. Um, she's super smart. She'll, she'll do good wherever she goes. And let me think, she applied to UT also, but, well, that's on the bottom of our list. We'll just say that. Um, where else did she apply? Trinity. And there was one other I can't remember. Ah, we'll see. We shall see. Um, you guys, for the holder, you're going to need a piece of pumpkin pie that is 3 by 11. And you're going to score it at 3 and a fourth and 7 and a half. Now, let me make sure that this is right because I screwed it up yesterday too. Okay, yes, it's right. Oh my gosh, I am like the worst demo today. All right, so when you fold this in, see how this is a smaller 
little section, that's the one you want to be on the left side. The larger section is going to be the one that we put on the inside. You're going to need to cut some kind of window here. And I looked through my dies and I found this die. This is from the Changing Leaves hybrid embossing folder that has the dies with it, the online exclusive. It's been on uh, back order for a long time, should be back soon. But look through your dies and your punches. If you have the old uh, word window punch, remember that long and skinny one? That one would work too. Um, you might have to double it to make it wide enough, but look through your dies um, and just find something that's like long and skinny like this. And this one almost is too long, but it works. All right, put it about an inch down and I can't tell if that's straight or not. Looks, okay, looks okay. Let's run that through. Oh, look, I did it too far to the left or to the right. Let's try it again. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's try that again. Let me get another piece. Hold, please. Once again, you guys are being very patient today. Let's try three and an eighth instead of three. I think that would work better. So I guess it's just going to depend on your, your die. I've made this three times and that's the first time that that happened. Let's see, what were my score lines again, you guys? Three and a fourth. No, no, that's not right. Yeah, three and a fourth, seven and a half. Three and a fourth, seven and a half. Okay. Here we are again. There's the inside. Let's try it again. I made it a little tiny bit wider. And I think that will be better. Yeah, that's going to be better. Because it was a very, you just had a very, very narrow window there. You know, on either side. Come on, stay. All right. I'm reading what you're saying, Carla, because that sounds like her. And she's five hours away, and she's loving it. Couldn't talk to mom the other day because she was getting ready to go to a football game with her roommate. See, you know, I have thought about that. And, and maybe I am not giving her enough credit. You know, maybe I'm just not giving her enough credit because that could totally be what happens. And I would love that. That would make me so happy for her. I need to, you, you know, I need to just follow her lead. I'm glad you said that to me. Did I do it again? No, I didn't. See, you got a very narrow area on either side. Um, I need to just follow her lead and let her make those decisions because she knows herself the best. All right, put this over, and you kind of want to create kind of like a little, you know, let's put the candy in, and I'll just weigh it down. It has like a little, a little space, right? Like leave a little bit of a bump. Don't glue it down flat. Before we put the candy in there, let's put the designer series paper, which was sitting here. No, yes, no, oh, it's right in front of me, hello, right here, hello. Um, this piece may be off now, the measurement's a little bit, because I made my piece a little bit wider. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Again, the Halloween potions paper. Now we can slide these in. They get two, this is the perfect afternoon snack. They'll have eight grams of protein. All right, so there, it closes like that. It's kind of like a little pillow. And then you get this piece, and you can score it in the middle, or you could just fold it in half. The score line isn't, isn't too, you know, important. You just fold it in half. All right, then get your stapler, which was just right here. Oh, come on. Oh, it's on the other tray. Okay. And then just staple like that. And this needs to be, this piece needs to be 11 inches, and I left it at 12, so I'm going to trim it a little bit. All right, this time I am using the iridescent striped ribbon, moving his bed into the big storage closet in the upstairs hall. <laughs> Lisa, yeah, that sounds like someone I know in my family would do, yeah. She does have some big, uh, those noise canceling headphones, which have been great. She really does, she's very sensitive to noise. Has been since she was in preschool. I will remember 
forever. Her teacher came to me and said, you know, when we watch a movie, she can't stand sitting with the other kids. She has to go sit up at the table by herself because it's just too noisy down the floor. <laughs> that was my first indication that she was going to be very particular about her surroundings. And she's gotten good about it too. She knows. She's like, she'll say, I know, I know, it's it's a me problem. You know, chewing bothers her. I'm sure, sure some of you, there's a certain name for that. The chewing, when people chew and you can't stand the sound of it. Yeah. She, she, she is a member of that club too. Okay, you guys, there you go. That's the easiest treat we made today. The hardest part is the fussy cutting of the uh, ghost. But it's worth it, right? It's so cute. So cute. Now, you guys, I don't have any bonus projects. Oh, wait. I do. Hold on. I do have a card. Uh, but you guys have seen this one before. I showed you this one when we did the potions and spells back in the summer. And remember this guy? That was my inspiration. I had done that watercolor. So um, that's that. If you want to see that, go back on my blog about, I don't know, a month? month and a half and you'll find it. I have been such a mess this week. Well, I've been working super hard to get everything out into the mail before I leave. And so I only posted one time on my blog this week. I'm sorry, I slacked. Um, I was hoping to have a bonus project to show you and I didn't get it done. I am sorry, I hate not having bonus projects. But we have three Halloween treats for you. And they're fun, I think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you like these projects, remember I'll send them to you for free um, as a thank you with an order. Um, that is $35 or more between now and Monday at midnight. If your order is over 150, don't use the host code because you'll get Stampin' Rewards. But if it's under 150, use the host code. Um, I'll send you the treats, the make and take package, if you will. Um, if, you're, if you don't use the host code, code over 150, I'll still send it to you. Okay, that's it, you guys. I will see you for two weeks, um, and I have no idea what, what I'm gonna be doing when we come back, but it'll either be fall or Christmas. I don't know, we'll see. You guys have a wonderful week. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and uh, I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye, everybody.